Oh, hey. How's it going? Oh, me? Not much, you know, just focusing on some Warzone. What's that? You want more multiplayer content? <laughs> Didn't you guys just get shipment two months ago? And you want more? Ah! So basically, that intro is uh, just about how COD feels about the multiplayer part of their fan base. Because it seems like whatever they're doing with Season 2, they're forgetting a whole lot about this entire side of their game. It looks like 90% of the update is all going to be like Warzone adding the new Rebirth map, which is great. I'm glad that the Rebirth players get something to do now. I don't think multiplayer is getting a whole lot. Like if they didn't have to add the guns into multiplayer, they probably wouldn't. Oh! Okay, sorry. I, I had to put a little break into there. That guy with the riot shield just got his mouth spit into. Okay, and then just get me back. All right, you, you take some, you give some. But with the season two update coming in like two weeks, I don't think multiplayer is getting anything outside of like one map, maybe. I think it's been confirmed that it's two. I don't know what the second map is, but I'm pretty sure it's like the World at War Castle remake. Kind of similar to what we got in Vanguard. Not to be confused with the castle on the, the new Rebirth map. But besides that, I don't think we're getting like any modes. We might be getting gunfight, but that was only like a leak, a rumor. And we're getting a few weapons. I think it's like a crossbow. Uh, a sword was just revealed in the, their little teaser picture, like a katana type thing. And then we'll probably end up getting like a different kind of weapon, like a Galil or something. Some like random AR or SMG is what I'm assuming. Which, you know, new weapons, I'm always glad to see. It's always fun to get a new weapon in the game, especially in this game where all the DLC weapons come with new camos because they have to create new ones to fill out all the base camos for them leading up to like gold, platinum, and polyatomic and all that. So that'll be fun. I'm excited for that. But there is little to no content in multiplayer right now. I just did a stream yesterday while we were grinding some mastery challenges for this Vetstem 9K, which we're doing again. Uh, I'm only about like 200 kills away from getting uh, the mastery challenge complete on this. But during that stream, I had a bunch of people come in and tell me like they've kind of put the game down after they completed all the camos because they don't even know what to do. There isn't a whole lot right now besides shoe house and shipment. And I, I kind of had this fear coming into the game. That's, that's why I, I took my time grinding all the camos in here. Because in Modern Warfare 2019, we're in a very similar spot where there wasn't a whole lot to do and there's only one map and it was shoe house and maybe Hackney Yard. So I remember feeling the same way back in 2019, 2020, where I felt like there wasn't a whole lot going on and I was on the verge of just not even playing the game and not even like completing the camos because there wasn't even like a good map to play on. And then they dropped Shoot House and I fell in love with Shoot House and it's cool that it's back and everything, but I'd like to see something new. I want to see some maps that I haven't played on before. I want to see some maps that are brand new and I want to see the maps that are in El Masra already just put in the multiplayer. I don't feel like that'd be that difficult. Like it almost feels like it's intentional the way they're like starving the multiplayer you know, community for content. And I don't understand why they would do that. Like, this is where COD started. This is where the entire franchise took off is through multiplayer. And now it seems like they're only focusing on the, the battle royale. And to be honest, I'm not even a huge fan of Warzone. I think I only really go in and hop in and play it because of the prox chat. I do think El Masra is a, a good map. I think it's better than Verdance and Caldera. And they are reverting a lot of changes to Warzone and their game mechanics and how, you know, armor plating works, how the buy systems are going to work. Like they're reverting a lot of changes in Warzone 2 to be similar to Warzone 1. And I feel like there's been a lot of similar criticisms into this game's multiplayer with like the perk system and, you know, time to kill, things like that. I don't think they'd adjust time to kill really, but I really do not like this perk system. And I feel like a lot of people don't. And that would be a cool change to see come to multiplayer, but they didn't even like address it. I think they kind of turned down some of the timing on the perk system, but I don't see why they don't go a little further and just be like, you know what? We made a mistake with this. Let's fix it. And also just in case you're curious, that's the class I'm using for the Vets Dev 9K. Uh, these are the attachments I have on it. I got most of these off Google. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt. And here's where I'm at with my mastery challenges. I'm gonna be trying to get the Orion one done today. So we have this all complete. And while we're talking about the weapon mastery challenges, I feel like I, I gotta put my, my two cents in there. I feel like it's a big missed opportunity to not have this 
be like a weapon camo unlock. Eat that throwing knife. Damn, I'm on one today with those. Because this kind of feels like obsidian-like in, in the way the challenge is, where it's like, get all these kills with this camo, get all these kills with this camo. But I feel like the reward doesn't really match the work you put into it. Not like it's that difficult getting a thousand kills with a weapon. It, anyone can do it, I think, if they just take the time and use it. But the reward for it is so lackluster. And it takes, you know, a pretty long time, to be honest. I think it took... Like three and a half hours of streaming just to get where I, I was at the start of this video for this weapon mastery challenge and i was kind of getting bored through most of it like i feel like i would be much more eager to get this done with a lot of the other weapons if i got more than an emblem calling card in weapon charm for it like the only mastery challenge i have complete right now is the knife and i'm pretty sure the knife the the weapon charm for that i can't even put it on the knife i'll check after this game but it, it kind of shows you how little thought went into the rewards and they kind of just copy and pasted it like this would have been a much cooler way of unlocking orion going for these thousand kills than just getting polyatomic on everything like getting orion after polyatomic kind of felt like oh I, I i just got everything done i guess instead of like extending the grind a bit because it would have been cool to individually unlock orion for each weapon you go for a thousand kills on because I always liked the idea of obsidian, but I never liked how the camo looked. It just looked default. It was just default with like a little texture on it and made it look like it, it was a little bumpy. It was like eczema the gun. And on top of that, there's no like dark ops type challenges to go for. Like in multiplayer, unless you just truly like just the multiplayer gameplay and not going for anything, not like trying to get anything completed and unlocked, then there isn't a whole lot for you to do in this game. I, I think I might have got that backwards. But you guys get what I'm saying. Like, the only reason I'm really doing these weapon masteries, despite not like liking the unlocks, is because it's just something to do with multiplayer. Like, I feel like I only like playing multiplayer when there is something to strive for. It's like, would you really play Warzone if you didn't get a win? Or if there was no wins, it was just big multiplayer on a big map? I guess you're kind of already doing that right now if you are playing Warzone, because stats aren't counting. But at least they're getting some attention in terms of, like, updates that could improve the game. I just hope, like, you know, the whole player number debacle and this game not performing as well as they hoped it would, like, post-launch, because I think this is, like, one of the best selling CODs of all time, that this kind of pushes them in the direction of be like, oh, we got to do something about this. We got to we gotta try to fix our game and keep people playing. I'm shooting at my own teammates. I mentioned this on stream. Also, shout out to the people that come by the streams. Really do appreciate it. Always a fun time with y'all. And I think this would be a, a fantastic idea if they ever do add gunfight, you know, back into Modern Warfare, is to turn the gunfight maps into face-off maps like they did in Cold War. That was so much fun. Them turning all those 2v2 maps into 6v6 maps like alleviates the need to have a uh, shipment 24 7 because nothing's worse than trying to play like uh like shoot the ship or shipment 24 7 and hopping in to a game that's you're already losing and where there's like a VTOL up half your team is already left and you're just getting like spawn trapped because in face off that doesn't happen face off didn't have any score streaks and it was just 6v6 go and get your camos done is basically what the mode felt like and if you didn't have any camos to get done and you just want to play multiplayer, it's a fast way and more refreshing way to get like the kind of shipment type gameplay without having to play on gloomy ass shipment every time. And I think in, in Cold War, there's only a few maps where I really didn't like to play on them for face off. And if I didn't like playing on those maps, they might have like good angles for specific camos. Like I, it could be really good for like kills behind cover or, you know, for long shots or something like that. But most of them, pretty fun to play on like, i feel like that's a great idea that they should not just leave in cold war like i want to see that come back and another mode that i kind of forgot about but i had a, so much fun playing in Modern Warfare 2019 was infected specifically ground war infected ground war infected was unbelievable for some sort of side gimmick mode just to goof around with having an entire ground war game slowly get more and more zombies in it or quote quote unquote zombies infected was so fun to do you would see people try to pull out like insane strats trying to stay alive trying to get to a spot where it's very difficult for the infected to get to it was always so much fun and with this game's prox chat or even just using like after death chat whatever it's called would be perfect and how do they have two VTOLs up? How is this happening? I thought it was always say like airspace too crowded. Did, did they fix that? Can you have multiple VTOLs? So I feel like I can't walk outside right now and I'm doing pretty decent in this game. Okay, they're finally gone. Oh, okay, now it's gone. 
Like, I feel like this game has so much untapped potential. And I don't want to be the, the guy that's like, when COD, COD not good, when I, I play this game a lot, and I just want it to be a better game. And I know it can be better. It's just they're not putting in the stuff that should be in here. And with all that being said about me complaining that Warzone's getting content and multiplayer's not, this isn't to say that, like, oh, you know protest war zone so multiplayer good stuff i don't feel like that works at all but I, i'm also gonna try to give war zone a, a fair shot because i haven't played it a whole lot outside of going in and messing with people in prox chat and with a new resurgence map coming out i want to try to get better at it so i think tomorrow i'll try to make a, a war zone video for you guys I'll, I'll, I'll pop into some solos maybe play a little bit of duos with chase and we'll, we'll see how the mode is for some people that don't really play Warzone a whole lot. 70 kills that game, though. That's not bad. One thing I will say, though, that they've done right this year is that Shoot the Ship feels like there's a whole lot more ship in it. Uh, we did a video a few days ago on playing Shoot the Ship until we get shipment. And I've gotten shipment all three games today so far, which is unbelievable. Imagine how short that video would have been if it, I recorded it today. But, you know, I've thrown out all the things that I want to see in this game. What do you guys want to see? There's probably some stuff that I've left out. Some game modes that I've forgotten about. Maybe some maps. I'm curious to see, for those of you that have, like, either stopped playing multiplayer or just want to see more from it, what what could be added in to kind of reel you back into the game but i guess i'll give my thoughts on the, the new resurgence map that they kind of teased uh, i think it looks pretty cool i don't know why they decided to make it like so gloomy like how shipment is like i feel like infinity ward's so scared to add color and vibrance to their games for whatever reason but aesthetically all the other stuff like if it just had like a, a sunny day setting that map would just be beautiful. And I think it'll be fun to see how it plays out with uh, the sort of new hybrid Warzone 2, Warzone 1 kind of mechanics that they're they're adding in. And on top of that, you know, whatever Warzone gets, I think DMZ gets by like default. I hope they don't change like DMZ stuff too much because I know they're changing up all the looting and everything for Warzone, like removing the whole backpack thing and making like pinata style loot on the ground. And I hope they don't do that for DMZ. I don't know if it's been confirmed or not, if they will. But I feel like DMZ's looting system works for them. Like it works for that game since the whole objective basically is get loot and get out. But it'll be it'll be fun to give a little different life to DMZ on another map. I still think DMZ needs a little bit more like incentive to play it outside of trying to get more like insured weapon slots or some like random operator or weapon blueprints that are kind of lackluster. I, I know I'm a little camo bitch and all I like to do is grind camos and cod, but if they were to add some camos to DMZ, I'd be playing the shit out of DMZ, I tell you that. I feel like outside of camos, cod used to be all about grindables and what you can unlock and, you know, how you can flex on people that don't have what you've, you know, grinded for. And the, now the stuff that you grind for looks so lackluster to try to push you to just buy different cosmetics in the shop. Like, there's not really any cool operator skins you can grind for. There's not really cool, like, weapon blueprints you can grind for. Calling cards emblems. They're all pretty lame copy and paste. Just changed out whatever weapons in them or some sort of random design they got off Fiverr. Like, I, I was talking with my friends about this last night where you don't see people walk around with, like, those, like, weed calling cards or the, the random shits that you would actually, you know, force yourself to go and grind and, you know bust ass to unlock now it's just like whatever calling card you find that's cool kind of early game is kind of what you keep at least in my case and i feel like with the the calling cards and emblems and stuff that's something cold war got right i feel like cold war got a lot of shit that it didn't really deserve i feel like it was probably the most well-rounded game out of all the modern cods so far like from modern warfare 2019 to now and a lot of people just kind of hated on it for what seemed like no reason i played a lot of cold war and I know some people are mad at me for not playing it anymore. I, I was a little burnt out on it. And by a little, I mean a lot burnt out on it. But that game did a lot of things right. And I know the games are developed by like different studios or whatever, but I feel like they can borrow from one another and make better games than what they're doing. Like it seems like every game that takes a step forward, the next game kind of forgets what step they took and moves in a different direction. Like, oh, this was a fun thing that our, our players loved. Uh, let's forget we ever did that and maybe never do it again. I don't know. This kind of just become the bitching hour. So I'm going to try to grind out the rest of this and I'll see you guys when I do. Oh, ho, ho. eat my dick. Chew on it. Oh, I think we got it. Yep, there it is. Orion is done and actually had four out of 
five games be on shipment. Kind of crazy. Well, let's double check to make sure that we did get it done. Hey, there we go. An, a, a brand spanking new weapon charm and a bunch of emblems and calling cards that I'm not going to use. And I almost forgot to check this. Let's go to our knife. So I do have a weapon charm here. Can you put weapon charms on the knife? You cannot. But anyways, uh, COD, I just want you to do better. I want you to be better. And I want more stuff to do in the game, please. Uh, I'm going to go play Elder Ring. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, thank you for all your support. It truly means the world to me. My life has forever changed because of you guys. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.